Hey, how's it going guys? Jake here with this week's episode of What's New Tackle Warehouse. I got a bunch of products for you here today. Uh, just in time for pre-spawn season. First one I'm gonna go over with you is this tiny little guy right here is this Cumberland Lures Pro Spin Tail Spinner. Now I know the float and fly technique has been taken off like crazy the last year or two. This is something you guys can kind of change it up on them. This one, it only comes in eighth ounce, it comes in this one size, so it's a little bit heavier, a little easier to throw. But as you can see, it's a you know, small hair jig, but it's got that little hammered Indiana blade on there. So it gets a little bit more flash, a little bit more action. Just, you know, if you guys are into throwing these real small ultra finesse type baits, definitely check this one out from Cumberland. All right, next one I got coming in here is this is actually a Japanese bait. This is by Khan Baits. This is the Vibrato Sonic Blade Bait. As you can see, it's ultra realistic blade bait. I love the finish on it and all the weight that's up here in the front of it. It's got this textured scale pattern on it, 3D eyes, razor sharp treble hooks on there. Got the three holes on top so you can adjust the amount of vibration for you know, how active the fish are. But this time of the year, fish are suspended, especially out in our deep reservoirs in California. You know, we do a lot of vertical jigging, blade bait, spoon, stuff like that. You want to show them something a little bit different, a little bit more realistic, check this one out by Conbaits. All right, I got another exciting new one for all you finesse gearheads out there. If you've seen uh, Shin Fukai's video on Wired to Fish, uh, these are, this is exactly what he's using for wacky rigging and neko rigging. These are the G7 worm tube pliers here, and these are the G7 uh, worm protect tubes here. As you can see, um, they're small silicone tubes. They're not like your standard O-rings. They're a little bit wider, so they have a little bit more surface area on them. So you actually don't tear up as many baits with, uh, as like your O-rings do sometimes. And because they're so wide, you can actually hook them both ways. You can go through the tube, um, you know, long ways or sideways. And this little tool here is exactly how you use them. You got this little plier here. You just stretch it out, slide your worm on. We got them in all different sizes. You can use them on anything from small four inch straight tail worms all the way up to six inch Senkos or stick baits. Uh, we got a whole graph on there. Shows you, you know what size to use of what worm. So also love that they're clear so they don't stand out as much as those O-rings do if you're fishing ultra, ultra clear water. So definitely check these out by G7. Our next one up from Daiwa. We got a limited release here. This is their new the Tula LT Sterling Silver Spinning Reel. So this is the Sterling Silver edition of their, their Tatula Spinning Reel. So we're only gonna have these in limited quantities. This is awesome spinning reel. I believe the Sterling Silver model comes, I believe it's got nine bearings in it. And it's a 6.2 gear ratio. I believe it pulls in 36 or 37 inches of line per crank. So really high speed. So if you guys are looking for you know new spinning reel, especially for you know throwing little swim baits or something like that where you're trying to pick up a little bit more line, definitely check this one out. Also matches those new Tatula Elite rods perfectly. So great new reel there by Dial. Next up from Live Target, we got their bait ball spinner rig replacement kits. Now the, their spinner rig came out at iCast. Um, people have been going crazy over them and we finally got the replacement kits in for them. So if you've got a few, caught a bunch of fish on them and need to replace the, the dummy baits or even the main bodies, we just got a huge batch of the replacement bodies so you guys can you know, retune all those, uh, those spinner rigs that you guys have. So check those out by Live Target. All right, endorsed by Forcewood Cup champion, John Cox. We got the new John Cox uh, fish attractant here. 100% organic, non-toxic, super potent scent. You can put it on soft baits and hard baits. Won't affect your action of your hard baits, but great scent there by John Cox. Next up, we got a bunch of stuff by Gator Rip I wanna show you guys. They got some really cool stuff. This first one, just their culling beam, but super high quality CNC aluminum with the T handle on there. Just great culling beam. Um, we got, I believe, three different series of uh, measuring boards. This one here is a professional series, like black and silver, super nice. It's all CNC'd, really high quality. And then for all those measuring boards, we got their boat sleeves to, to mount your measuring boards inside your, uh, inside your boats. I believe we got them in three different sizes. To, to fit different width boards and different dimensions and stuff like that. Check those out. All right, next thing we got from Gator Grips is something I thought was a genius idea is these mesh bags that are made for your culling beam. So these are to put your fish in to cull them so you don't have to punch another hole through their lip and you know it holds them down in there, actually relaxes them a little bit more so it makes it easier. Especially if you guys have ever fished a spotted bass tournament and you're, you're going, you know, trying to cull up by ounces at a time. Um, this just makes it so much easier to cull fish, especially when they're super active and they won't stop moving and you can't tell, you know, which one's heavier and it swings either way. This is just going to make culling way, way more easier. So definitely check these out by Gator Grips, as well as I believe we got some way bags as well. A bunch of cool stuff from Gator Grips. All right, next up, one that we're super excited about. We got our limited release 
Tackle Warehouse St. Patrick's Day shirt. If it's not on the site just yet, it will be here in a few days. So make sure you guys ha will have them in time for St. Patrick's Day. So if they're not up yet, make sure you keep checking on day to day so you can get them in before St. Patty's Day. We're super stoked about this here. It's probably one of the best designs we did. So check this one out here by us. All right, next up from Savage Gear, we got the new Savage Gear browser rods. I know a lot of people have been asking about these for a long time, waiting for them to come in since iCast, and they are actually super impressive when we got them in. They're super lightweight. They have that X wrap you know, down here on the bottom third of it for a little bit of extra power and backbone strength and stuff like that. But extremely lightweight, comfortable handle on them. And one thing that um, our buyer showed us, and it, it almost terrified me, <laughs> it was, made me cringe, is he showed me how strong these were from their one directional um, carbon fiber, I believe is what they use, the technology in these rods. You can actually take this and you can crank it and bend it all different ways on the tip and it will not break. So, I mean, one of the most durable rods I've ever seen. Um, he was even cranking around, you know, an eight foot extra heavy swim bait rod. And I was super impressed that you can do that. Um, you know, uh, you know, not having to worry about high sticking a rod or just, you know, the durability of this thing. And I believe it comes in at 129. So, I mean, an amazing rod with some amazing qualities at that price point. All right, guys, last up here, we have the Savage Gear High Rider Float Tube 170 size. Now, before, first before I go into everything, I want to talk to you guys. I'm talking from experience here. I've float tubed for probably a decade, kayak, John boat, I've done it all. Um, this is probably one of the best built float tubes I've ever seen. Um, and I will say there's also some significant advantages of uh, fishing out of a float tube versus a kayak or, you know, maybe sometimes a John boat or something like that. Um, if you guys are looking to get off the bank and, you know, get something where you can get out there a little bit deeper in the water, access some different areas and just fish a little bit different style, you definitely need to check out this float tube here by Savage Gear. Um, it's a super, super durable construction. When I was blowing it up, I was super impressed how dense and heavy duty this thing is and how well it's constructed. It's got four air chambers in it. So, you know, if you ever had any kind of issue with it, you know, you're not going to sink because it has the four different air chambers. Um, just some of the features that are, I noticed that were super key on this thing. First, the seat, really well constructed and it has the really tall back on it. And I know that was a problem I always had float tubing is I had a cheap little foam seat that always buckled on my back, didn't give enough support. This is not going to have that happen with this thing. It keeps you super high off the water too. The U-shaped boat is definitely the way to go if you want a float tube. Uh, you know, the full circle enclosed boats, you know, usually hold you a little bit deeper in the water. It's a little bit harder to fish out of. And with these, you're only in the water for basically your knees down. And you're, you're much higher up off the water, so it makes casting and fishing a lot easier. Um, some of the other features that are on here on the back, there's two rod holders attached, you know, incorporated into the seat. So you already have rod holders on it. Two large cargo compartments already here on the side, and they're far enough back and up out of your way, so they're not going to affect you, you know, your fishing at all. And they're also, they Velcro and attach right on. So if you don't want to use them or if you want to store them in the back, there's plenty of storage for that. Also, one of the awesome things, that come, it comes with a set of, the 170 model comes with a set of oars. So if you're trying to move spots a little bit quicker, you know, you can, you know, paddle with your feet and the oars and move a little bit quicker. And then they snap right out of place and, you know, and stay out of your way. Stabilizer tube on the front, keep everything, you know, nice and sturdy. Has the, you know, the stripping apron if you got, you know, for fly fishermen. Or if you guys just like that, the whole, you know, put some lures there, put your tools and keep them right there handy. Um, also has the foot stabilizer bar there too. So when you're actually fishing um, and not paddling, you can, you know, rest your feet on there and, you know, it's a lot more comfortable. Um, and one of the things I always noticed when I was fishing off a float tube, I loved fishing off a float tube for the fact that um, I can control where I'm sitting while I'm fishing and, you know, and position myself where I want to position. Um, I know, you know, some of the the foot dr foot driven kayaks get a little bit pricey, you know, the upwards, you know, two, three thousand dollars. The Savage Gear float tube comes in, you know, at four ninety nine and you're not going to cover water like you can on a kayak. But I believe, you know, I fish off a kayak as well without a pedal drive. And, you know, once you start, you get to your spot and you start fishing, you don't have anything to control you and the wind just pushes you wherever you're around. So this is much more stable and you're way more effective as an angler on a float tube, you know, with this kind of design. Um, so if you're definitely looking to get off the bank, you know, also has, I forgot to say, it has the backpack straps already on there. So it's super easy to carry. I carried it around through the warehouse. It's super comfortable. So you can make long treks to different areas, you know, backwoods, ponds, something like that. And it's easy to get in and out of uh, just an awesome, awesome design. Also comes with a repair kit included. If you have any kind of issues, comes with a foot pump as well. So, I mean, 
everything on this float tube is ready to go really well thought out it's just dialed for you guys that are trying to get off the bank and you know don't want to jump into that investment of you know making you know two three thousand dollars into you know a pedal driven kayak or a small john boat or something like that so definitely check this one out from savage here the new high rider float tube Thanks for tuning in and watching this week's episode of What's New TW. For more information on the products seen here today, please click shop or the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments section which one of these products you're most excited about.